Welcome back to WKYT News. Two NASA astronauts will now remain in space at the International Space Station until February, when their original flight was only supposed to be eight days. Well, the astronauts are keeping busy, though, even helping some UK students with a research project. WKYT's Alexa Minton has more. Well, we're, of course, uh, always excited to, to get to interact with astronauts, but we were doubly uh, excited when uh, we got to know it was her. Dr. Alexander Martin is part of the University of Kentucky team that made history in 2021, marking the first time a university-built entry capsule successfully transited a planetary atmosphere. This past July marked another successful re-entry of the capsules. Their capsules are equipped to survive. So when everything else burned, the capsules survive, they're released and they take data. But in order to make that successful re-entry, UK works with an astronaut from the International Space Station to activate the capsules. And this time, it was none other than Sunny Williams. Basically, she was the one who uh, got to activate her capsule. Sunny Williams and Butch Wilmore were supposed to be in space for merely eight days, but due to complications with the Boeing Starliner, they will now be returning almost nine months later in 2025. Their mission has shifted, and they're now doing typical crew tasks, like spacewalks outside the space station, maintaining the orbiting laboratory, and carrying out a tight schedule of science experiments, including helping UK. Dr. Martin says he doesn't know much about the decision to keep the astronauts in orbit, but safety is always a priority. I was, I was suspect that they have a, a vehicle that's ready that they could take if necessary. They just want to do it properly. So they're not stranded by the, by the definition of it that they're not stuck there. there. There's a way out, but they're just, I'm guessing they're trying to do it correctly. In Lexington, Alexa Minton, WKYT. Well, the two astronauts will work at the ISS full-time until they return in February next year.